Good morning, good afternoon, or even good evening to those who are tuning in. This is Dre, Recovery One Drones, coming to you about some more information on the commercial side of the house of the uh, small UAS. Uh, today, I'm coming to you about the uh, recent updates. There's been a lot of updates to a lot of drones. This one is going to be about the Mavic Enterprise 3 Series, to where we got a recent update. I think it was on the... 17th, might be even the 19th. No, 19th was yesterday, so I think it was the uh, 17th that it came out and bring some more features uh, to the uh, drone itself and, and some, as they always say, bug fixes, bug fixes that most of us don't know anything about. Uh, there's one thing I can say about DJI is that they keep passing down some of the features through a lot of their drones from other drones. It's almost like a... Uh, uh, as we say in the in the car industry, uh, what wins on the racetrack will eventually follow you onto the uh, driveway. So I'm going to dig into this a little bit. <clears throat> uh, like any other standard uh, update, uh, you have to either go through, use your Wi-Fi, uh, which is always a good way to use if you have a strong Wi-Fi in your house. If not, connect it to the Enterprise, uh, PGI uh, Enterprise account uh, a program to hook your drone directly to it so that way you don't have to worry about if you have weak Wi-Fi not getting a good download. The aircraft firmware will be updated to version 09.02.07.06. Uh, we're going to go over this again. Let's give you the numbers right now. Remote control firmware is version 02.01.03.22. Uh, the DJI Pilot 2 app update version 9.2.0.26 and i say there is another dji assistant 2 enterprise series version 2.1.12 i'm gonna go ahead and share this with you so you can uh, get a better uh understanding what we're talking about okay there we go so as you can see here the numbers that is read to you under each one it's going to talk about improved stability and performance, enhanced flight safety fit features, bug fixes, and optimizations. Classic. Uh, the second is going to be remote control firmware. Uh, the version number again is 02.01.03.22. Improved communication and reliability between the remote controller and the drone. Enhanced compatibility with the, with the DJI Pilot 2 app. General system opt optimization. Okay, and down into the Pilot 2 app itself, it gives you updated user interface, added new features and functionalities, improved compatibility with the Mavic 3 Enterprise. And then there's updates to the uh, DJI Assist Assistant 2, enhanced compatibility with Mavic 3 Enterprise, bug fixes and performance improvements. All sounds great, but it doesn't tell you exactly what it's giving you. So, that's why I'm here today. I was out yesterday flying a mission. Like I say, a lot of times we do these uh, updates and not till we actually go out to the field do we actually uh, get a chance to see if there's any real improvements or noticeable improvements, what I should say, of what's going on. So I'm gonna show you here is what the improvements are, physical improvements that you will see with your own eyes. About seven months ago, the Mavic 3 series uh, consumer level uh, was given an update to allow you to use the uh, side sensors to be able to view out of them. I said, uh, my, my opinion back then was nice, but really unnecessary because from all the uh, review update videos that I saw on YouTube and other places, uh, the picture quality was very poor, uh, wasn't really clear to so I would feel like it would really assist anyone to avoid any uh, issues. Uh, like I say, if it was a small wire, small branch or something like that, you still would not see it using these sensors. So like I say, uh, see on the screen right now as I'm talking, you see what's going on. It allows you to uh, see in the front the size, the rear sensors, so forth. I mean, it's a nice little, as I would call it, a gimmick feature. I think it's something that the consumer level may uh, get, get a few uh, 
giggles out of, but as a commercial operator, I don't see it giving us any real advantages to where it's going to allow us or help us operate in a more safe manner. I mean, if you don't see the building coming up, uh, this is not going to help you much better seeing it come up in the sensors. I don't know what the uh, delay uh, the time is. I'm probably pretty much the same as with the uh, screen. So there will be a slight delay. So I tell a lot of people, when you see see your drone hit something, uh, about time you see it on the screen, it's already happened. So I don't see this being something as a as a uh, upgrade in safety features. The second feature is just uh, convenience. My thing is, it can work without me having to see it work, and that's basically what has been incorporated in drones since I go back as the Phantom Four series. I know the Inspire uh, Two series had it, and that's basically a smart return to home. And the only thing different here is they added the graphic to where it shows you the green road of the green path back to your to your home point. Uh, this is something that is, uh, I would say is more of a convenience than it is as far as operational safety concern. I mean, this feature was already built into the drone itself, so I don't really see where this is going to add anything Landing. as a real true safety feature. I mean, we know it's in there. Uh, the Mavic 3 Enterprise series, the drones I've, I've flown in that series, always come what I call a, de uh, a decelerated, and de a descending type approach where if you fly at a certain altitude, like I'm normally flying my mapping missions around 400 feet, uh, about time it gets back to the home point, it is already down to about maybe 100 feet and, and, and slowing down as it comes in for a landing. So that could be a benefit for some who work out in wide open spaces, or it could be a hazard for those who are in tight quarters who need to do a complete vertical takeoff and need to have a complete vertical landing. You don't need, you don't want your drone to come in at an ascending uh, angle to where it may come in, uh, you know, in some type of hazardous condition, wires that it may not pick up on the sensors. You know, I, it's going to avoid the large stuff, buildings and large objects. It's the small objects that usually trips, up, trips us up more than anything else. So, this is what's new. I know a lot of folks had a philosophy. If it ain't broke, don't you know? Don't update. But these are some of the new features that are out there uh, that enhances your drone's ability to a certain extent. So once again, this is Dre, Recover One Drones. Hey, if this information helps you, it may help somebody else. So please share this video if possible. Hit the like button. Please subscribe. You know, this information. I, I like to give out to help everyone become better pilots, better UAS operators. So once again, this is Dre Recovery One Drones. Hope to see you again. Hang on and enjoy the ride. Thanks.